Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Zen Libran Tarot. What's up? Peace to everybody out there. I hope everybody is doing good. I hope everybody is doing well. You know, I got snow on um, um, where I'm at um, in the Midwest, you know. Um, it's beautiful, though. Um, everything is getting cleansed and there's going to be a new, you know. Um, and I hope everybody is uh, getting something new. Um, you know, um, this is year eight. Year of the dragon, y'all. It's going down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, as above, so below. Y'all see all these high people falling and it's only the beginning of the year. So if you like low on the totem pole, even if you're, you know, you have a little uh, normal little life, you know what I'm saying? Things is going down in your life too. You don't have to be a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? I mean, things that are being uh, magnified, um, look down below. You know what I'm saying? The same thing is going on in the, in the peon's life. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you got a, making $100,000 a year, people in that uh, tax bracket is falling, just like people in the tax bracket of people making 20000 a year or people on welfare. You know what I'm saying? Um, people are falling in those tax brackets. You know what I'm saying? Those people are going to be on the top. And these people, these high value people, which they say, you know, they finna be on bottom. I mean, karma is finna get served. It's, I mean, and it's starting now. And it's just the beginning of the year. I mean, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the divine ain't playing. This is the reckoning right here. This is the reckoning. Year eight, death and rebirth, transformation. Y'all finna get y'all ass handed to y'all. Things are finna flip. You know what I'm saying? It all depends on what side of karma you on. So get ready. Because it's here. It's happening now. You can feel it, can't you? I can feel it. Doom, doom, doom. That's what your ass get. You know what I'm saying? And y'all like, oh, Zingaya, you shouldn't be like that. Forget them. They put us through torture. They put us through hell. So I smile at them going through what they going through. Forget that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're, you, you say you're spiritual. Yes, I am. And, I'm, and, I, and I smile with spirit flowing through me because y'all deserve everything y'all got. You know what I'm saying? And if you didn't, the divine wouldn't give it to you. This is a reckoning. You're reaping what you're sowing, bitches. You're reaping what you sow. Okay? All right. Well, you know, this is a, if you follow me, you know that I check in with each member of my soul family. And this is the beginning of the month, so I check in with my ancestors twice a month per video. Um, so it's the beginning of the month, so I'm checking in with my ancestors and see what they have to say about what's going on on the ethers here right now, okay? All right, you know? And um, the energy of this particular reading is Pisces. Pisces, somebody is very gifted and somebody is getting there, living out their dreams, okay? Um, somebody is going to have a breakthrough. Uh, I said breakthrough. <laughs> somebody going to have a breakthrough in their career. Yeah, you're going to have a, great, a breakthrough in your career. I don't know what it is. You could get messages in your dreams. You could be some type of oracle. What I say, some type of oracle. You could be an oracle. Hell, you could be a tarot reader. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a lot of us tarot readers, we're oracles. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we are part of that royal bloodline of the Ariels, the mermaids, the original seers, the, the royal bloodline of King Tut. We are from that uh, um, bloodline. Um, so this could be an oracle here. You know what I'm saying? But whatever, you, whatever you're doing, what type of messages you're giving, um, or you could be a speaker. You could be a motivational speaker or something, giving out messages, counseling, guidance to people. Um, yeah. Um, but whatever it is, you're going to be able to live out your dreams because you're going to have a breakthrough in your career, okay? And your stability is going to flow. You hear what I'm saying? It's going to flow through, and everything in your life is going to be in harmony. I love this. Yeah. And somebody out there is in their feelings. Somebody is in their feelings. I mean, literally crying because you get wish fulfillment. They crying. They mad. They don't want you to have this. What is wrong with this person? It's only a demon cries or gets upset when somebody reaches, accomplishes something. You know what I'm saying? We got a hater in the house, y'all. We got a hater. This hater probably has Pisces uh, highly aspected in his chart also. All right? All right? All right. Well, you know, you know I got my goddess energy here. 
you know, I had to pull my goddess energy because this is the goddess channel. Um, I speak on women empowerment, elevating a woman to get back to her goddess status so that we can take over our throne, which is the earth. You know what I'm saying? This is mother earth, not father earth. It's mother earth, okay? The father is the masculine energy of the universe. The universe is his throne. This is the divine feminine throne, okay? The alpha female. And we're, we're rising and we're going to take over, okay? We're going to take over. So, you know, I had to call on my feminine energy because nothing is complete or going to go right without feminine energy, okay? Because we are the creators and the givers of life, okay? So the feminine energy that I pulled here is a loo, morality. Now, this is could either go either way. This is a succubus, incubus energy that likes to come and steal people's destinies. And they do it through sex, Okay, once you have sex with this person, they put some type of sex magic on you and you just lose all sense of, of function. You know what I'm saying? And you go on a different direction. They veer you off your path and you go on a different direction. Lust, pride, envy, uh, sex, drugs, rock and roll and get you off the, the path of light. And that's what this particular individual is trying to do to this divine feminine. Trying to steal her destiny, get her off her path because her dreams are coming true and she's gifted, you know, and he don't want her to be that. He don't want her career to take off. He don't want her to have this uh, epiphany. He don't want her to have this uh, stability. He don't want her to have this abundance. But you know what I say to that? Do well, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just ridiculous. So we got an incubus, succubus energy in the house. Uh, we're talking about, um, I'm saying, I speak from the feminine's aspect. Um, so we have an incubus in the house. Okay, an incubus in the house. Okay, this particular person here wants to trap this divine feminine into a connection. He don't want her to go nowhere. He, he literally wants to keep her in a cage. He wants her to be in fear of going out, in fear of being with people, in fear of doing what she was meant to do. He just wants her sitting around, just tossed away somewhere, waiting on him. Yeah, he done lost his damn mind. You messing with a divine feminine baby, and we don't get down like this. You know what I'm saying? So you need to go and get you one of them karmics that you with because it don't fly over here. You know what I'm saying? But this is how he wants you to stay in a connection with him. And being in a connection with this narcissist, you know what I'm saying? This is how your life will be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This particular person just wants you to just sit around and just... Keep going in this circle with him, round and around and around in this connection with him, not growing at all, just stuck, not growing in your life. The connection not growing between y'all, y'all not even in a relationship while he's out there doing everything in the world. He wants you to sit and just wait on him till he decides that he want to come be with you. And, and, and while you're waiting on him, he's stunting your growth. Look at that, that tree in there, it can't even grow. You know what I'm saying? And you'll be going around and around this cycle. And you got off of this cycle with this particular person. You probably was dealing with this particular person for 10 years. You probably did a whole 10 year cycle with this particular person and nothing came out of it. You know what I'm saying? And you done broke free from this bastard. And this is how he wanted you to stay. Stay and wait on him to come and get, until he decided that he done got all old and disease infested, teeth falling out, big ass, good, bald headed, you know what I'm saying? Probably got a colostomy bag for uh, too much anal sex, you know what I'm saying? And um, he want to come your way. Boy, get your Frankenstein looking ass out of here, you know what I'm saying? Going on out of here. Yeah, he just want to suck you dry of your energy. He just want to keep you in the house, keep you in the cage just to have sex with you. You're like an outlet that he plugs in. You're his supply. He don't want nothing else from you. He's not going to give to the relationship financially, spiritually, mentally, physically. He's not going to do nothing. All he's going to do is just drain you and take your sacral chakra energy so he can live his life because he's a, 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 a peasant. He's a, a low-down, dirty, stank uh dog matted bottom of the shoe bottom of the cesspool ass person you know what i'm saying and all he want to do is have sex with you you know what i'm saying he's an incubus and he just want to steal your destiny with it and keep you stuck with his rotten stanky spoil cabbage smelling ass you know what i'm saying oh just I'm, I'm just mad y'all i just it just makes me mad you know what i'm saying all right ancestors 
let's get this tarot out here and see what's going on out here because he done made me mad now this person is in his feelings he in his feelings honey because you done got off that treadmill you know what i'm saying around around and around that miracle round you know what i'm saying you got off that miracle round and you moved on and when you moved on you walked toward abundance you walk toward happiness. You know what I'm saying? Um, I see the eighth star of Lakshmi, and that is abundance. That's what you walked into. And this person didn't want you to have that because he's trying to steal your destiny because he's an incubus with his allows. He has a, a, an entity, a sex demon attached to him. And they just wanted to have you to feed off your energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pitiful, y'all. Pitiful. Y'all better watch out for these men. I'm telling you, use your discernment and intuition, ladies. You know, the divine gave it to us for our protection. And he really gave it to the divine feminines for this particular. So we could discern these pieces of dung. You know what I'm saying? That want us to make us their energy supply. Please. Y'all be like, oh, he put it down. It's the best sex I ever had. No, it ain't. He put he did magic on you. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? Take your energy. You know what I'm saying? Energy harvesters. It's just, and just get you off the path. You know what I'm saying? From where you're supposed to go. Ruin your life, basically. All over some sex. Psh, girl, you better go. Girl, buy you something out the store. That ain't going to steal your destiny. That's just going to cost you $40. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it's that bad. You know what I'm saying? You know, shoot, you know what I'm saying? Look at him, look at him over there. Look at him over there doing candle magic with his stanky, ugly ass. You know what I'm saying? Look at him. Want some money with his disgusting, filthy, cesspool mouth ass. You know what I'm saying? What's going on out here, y'all? Because he ain't made me mad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got this beautiful, loving, caring, intuitive woman that gets messages from the divine. We have an oracle here. Yeah, she speaks the truth. She knows the truth. She knows the truth because she gets messages from the divine. We have um, an oracle here. She could be a reader. Yeah. Um, this particular person wants to be in a connection with you. You know, and he has this group. He's in his group or his family uh, is coming up against you and, and fighting you, trying to manipulate you, trying to make you submit to this particular person. He got a whole group of people, his family, his nappy head ass family, you know what I'm saying? Or some group that he belongs to that is is coming is that he hooked up with to help him get you to submit to him, to stay in this connection, to stay trapped in this bull with him, to stay on this cycle with him. He don't want you to grow. So he got his ugly ass mama. His buck two ass sister, his homosexual ass uncle, his butch ass auntie, you know what I'm saying? Or his ugly homosexual ass uh, friends in his uh, uh, friend group to come up against you, to try to manipulate you, to make you submit, to be in a. You got people trying to make you be with this person, helping you, help him, trying to be with you, helping, helping him abuse you. To stay in this abusive uh, connection. These people, these are a bunch of devils. And they, they'll spike your drink, they'll spike your food. Don't eat nothing. Don't drink nothing around these people. Don't hell, don't even go around these people. You know what I'm saying? This person tried to confuse you. You know, create an illusion with spell work. These people, this is a damn coven, y'all. This is a damn coven. He figured that this is the only way that he can get balance, you know what I'm saying, and that him and his family, you know, can get balance. <laughs> and you know about this family. You know about them doing this to you because you get messages. You get you get messages from the divine, and the divine that hips you on about this uh, poisoning-ass family that like to poison your food and your drink. And they trying to, you know, strike gold with you by, you know, doing spell work on you to try to confuse you these people are crazy these people are trying to dominate you 
but you done escaped this this obstacle. This is over. You, you you don't have to worry about this no more. This is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole damn group. Yeah, this is a miserable per miserable person. This person wants you to be stuck and unable to move. He wants you to be confused and living in a dream world. Like I told you, this person would even put something in your drink and something in your food to muddle your thinking. He, I mean, he don't. He that's what he's trying to do: muddle your thinking by doing his spell work on you, because you're too intuitive. You're too intelligent. You know what I'm saying? And um, he wants to. He don't like that. He wants to stop that. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't be on point, you know what I'm saying? This is a type of person that he he's a predator, so he preys on damaged women that something is mentally wrong with them, you know? Um, he's dissatisfied because you withdrew from him and you don't want to be in no type of connection. You don't even want to be with this, this person's friend. And he's over there depressed. I mean, he could be having a, a pity party, but who gives a damn? This person is very self-absorbed, you know what I'm saying? This person is the type of person this person would uh, do you in or do some spell work to cause you some type of harm, even unalive you and to come up to you and, and be the one, the main one crying in your funeral, even though they caused it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this person wanted to do, but it couldn't happen because you withdrew from this person. So he couldn't get you. He was trying to unalive you, but he fell short. He missed the opportunity because you fought their ass. Albino alligator, baby. You fought their ass. You're very intuitive, loving, and caring, but you're a warrior also. Trying to muddle your, th your thinking, trying to mess with your psyche with spell work. Trying to get you into the family. You know what I'm saying? Because you receive these messages, because you are an oracle, because you are gifted. You know what I'm saying? And he wants to keep you around. He don't want you to grow. He don't want you to um, move on. You know what I'm saying? Because he wants to keep you stuck and around and down so that he can court you. And he wants to court you because your finances are taking off. Yeah. Because your finances are taking off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he wants to be in... Um, a connection with you because of that. It's all about your finances, honey. This person do anything for money. This is a, a incubus energy. And you know the truth. You know the truth about this person because you receive messages from the divine. You got the messages about this group. I don't know if this is a, this is a coven, secret society or something that helping him do this to you. Because you're living out your dreams financially, you're going towards your north node, or you're in your north node. This, you could have been on a cycle with this person for years, and him just having coming in your life, having sex with you, recharging, going back out, and going over and over with this. But you walked away from this person. You took your energy back, and he's dissatisfied that you withdrew from him. So that's why he's trying to muddle your thinking, play with your psyche, have you living in some type of dream world so you can be stuck, and you could be down here where he could court you, and he only wants to court you because of your destiny. He wants to steal it. Him and his ugly-ass group, him and his poisoning-ass um, um traumatizing, victimizing ass group. Women and men. Smiling in your face all around, they, they spiking your drink or putting something in the barbecue sauce. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they fell short, honey, and things is finna balance out, balance out for you. Your finances are gonna take off. Your ships is finna come in. All you gotta do is just wait on the results, honey. That's all you got to do, and that's what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some more energy out here, y'all. Let's get a little more energy out here. Let's get a little more energy out here. I love this these cards called Witch's Wisdom. I love these cards. I just love these cards. These are my favorite cards right now. <laughs> you know, well, let me get those out. And um, let's see what this oracle got going on. You know the truth. You know the truth about this ugly, ragged-ass secret society. You know what I'm saying? You know the truth about this raggedy trout fish face. He didn't even look like a fish, I heard. Fish face-ass masculine that want to keep you, want to keep having sex with you to just use you. You know what I'm saying? He's living off of your energy, <laughs> okay? 
Yeah, you know the truth about this bastard. That's why you walked away. And he looking stupid. Mm-hmm. Thought he's gonna take you out of here. Yeah, you a healer. We got a witch in the house. Which the witches are the watchers, the guiders, the the women that's here to rule. You know what I'm saying? The alpha female that knows the magic of this earth. You know what I'm saying? A healer. You know what I'm saying? That's what the witches were, the healers. Okay? And that's what this particular feminine is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're all witches of the light, witches of the dark. You know what I'm saying? But this is a healer here. You know what I'm saying? And she's an oracle. She gives messages from the divine. Yeah. Um, things is finna intensify in your life. You know, you, you even finna get more gifts. You know what I'm saying? Um, from the divine. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. You fought this family. You fought this group of people, you know, that was trying to get you in a connection. Um, or, um, it's sad. You got a whole damn group just trying to get, trying to basically rape you. That's basically asking, helping this masculine rape you because you don't want to be with him. He's trying to sleep with you against his, your will. And he only wants to sleep with you, not because he loves you or he likes the feeling of it. No, it's just to vamp your energy. You're his battery supply. And you got this whole family knowing that he's abusing you. They're helping him abuse you. Because the only way he can get your energy is sexually. So you're having sex with him against his, his will. They're basically trying to tie you down for this particular person. It's, it's, it's sad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because of stability. Because of stability. This family wants you in. And look, y'all see he got his rod up there, his staff. You know what I'm saying? They basically trying to tie you down for this masculine so he can have sex with you so that they can be stable. Because your energy, he can manifest off your energy because you are a healer. Look at his staff up there. And he could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And his raggedy ass family is a bunch of uh, family of rapists. You know what I'm saying? And it's supposed to be a secret. Now you know. I know what y'all doing. I know what y'all doing. You know? All for money. You got money between your legs. You sitting on that pocketbook. And that's what they want. And they want to keep you trapped in him as a battery supply. His family. His mama. His sister. These women that are helping him... Uh, attack another woman of another woman I mean sexually what kind of women are these demons that's what they are but they fail short honey and everything is finna balance off for you you know what I'm saying your ships finna come in you know what I'm saying and that's why this you know you know that's why this person wants to be in union with you that's why this person wants to be in union with you. That's why he's trying to hand fast with you. You know what I'm saying? But you protect it, honey. You got a circle of protection around you. Don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about nothing. Nothing, nothing. Don't worry about nothing, honey. You know what I'm saying? He could not take you out of here. I mean, this bastard would have been, would have been the first one at your funeral. He probably would have spent money on flowers and everything when he was the one that took you out of here, him and his group. So since he can take you out of here, he doing spell work to try to court you. <laughs> Pitiful. Pitiful. Go get a job. Go get your own bag. You know what I'm saying? You a lick to this person. You know what I'm saying? You a lick to this person. This person is definitely in his shadow side. This person could be scrying on you, using divination. Of course he's using divination. He's a warlock. This is what they do. This is a coven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pitiful, man. Pitiful. You are uninterested. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You are uninterested. 
and he wants you to be stuck, muddle your thinking because he's dissatisfied at you because you withdrew from him and he's tired of you uh, withdrawing for him. So he want to come around and put something in drug you, in your food and your drink, you know what I'm saying? By any means necessary. Don't go around this person, you know what I'm saying? And he got people to hurt him. He going to Kanika could, could Jenkins you. That's what he going to do. He going to try to Kanika Jenkins you. Him and his group. You know what I'm saying? All for your prosperity. All for your prosperity. For your gifts. What your ancestors are giving you. They willing to. Like, like, like they going to get it if they do something to you. I mean, I mean, seriously, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, seriously, man, these people is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, this person wanted to get you pregnant. That's what he wanted to do. But uh, that's what he wants to do now. If you go back with him, he's going to get you pregnant. I mean, he's going to try to make sure you don't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Make sure he's going to have a reason to be in your life. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's going to try to get you pregnant. He's a lousy piece of, you know what I'm saying? So... But, you know, it comes with the territory. All right? All right. Well, this is what the ancestors have spoke. Uh, you're going to be living out your dreams, honey, and you got this fish-faced person from, from your past that you've been in a continuous cycle with. Uh, he hasn't been trying to be with you. He's just trying to play you on. He comes in and out of your life to have sex with you. Then he goes and get in a relationship that don't work out. He comes back, recharges, goes out, and you got the, you got the gist of it. You know what I'm saying? And you, you walked away from him. You, you left his connection. And he's mad because he wanted you to stay there and be his battery supply. He's been doing all type of spell work to try to keep you trapped in fear, to make you fear of not leaving. This person does not want you to grow. This person knows you, your destiny. And he's an incubus and he's trying to steal it from you. Okay? You glad that you pulled away from this person. Glad that you're not having sex with this person. And so this particular person... Got this group to help him do spell work on you, so love spells or whatever, so that you can sleep with this person. So they're basically trying to tie you down for this person so he can have sex with you. That's what they're trying to do. You have a group of women and men that are helping this masculine have sex with you uh, against your will. Women that's helping this man violate another woman this is a, a group of a demons you know but you walked away so you connected and protected so don't worry about it honey you're moving on and this person is in his feelings but you're moving on with abundance and you're not dealing with this person that's right keep them closed divine feminine we just can't be out here having sex with everybody Know the power that we possess. Know the value of yourself. Know thyself. Because people are actually launching careers, launching their whole lives, their foundation off of your energy, divine feminists. Yes, it may sound crazy, but this is happening. Energy harvesting as people. All right? So stay up on your protection. Keep your legs closed. Abstinence. Celibacy here until you meet the right one, till you attract the right one, okay? And use your intuition and discernment to know whom that is because it's all our war, you know what I'm saying? And they're using our punani, our kitty cat against us. How dare you? It's something that I'm giving you out of love and you use it against me? That's what time it is. They desperate, y'all, this year eight. And they're getting karma kicking their ass. You know what I'm saying? And they all coming down. All fall down. All fall down. And it's coming. And this fish face ass bastard here, they coming down. They coming down. And we coming up. You know what I'm saying? Believe it. It's, about, it's like that. All right? All right. Well, I love you guys, and if you feel anybody could benefit from this reading, please share the consciousness, share the awareness, guys, and just be safe, ladies, and just keep your eye open, and I mean that third eye, okay? And remember, as I always say it, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. Y'all be, be easy out there, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.